with part two of Epic Fear Night 4. All of our families in the background laughing at us, thinking that we're totally strange, but we don't care because we drank enough beer because not to care. Yes, because we are strange, probably. But that's why we're reviewing beers tonight, guys, on DJ's BrewTube. And first up to bat, we've got Bell's Point Big Eye IPA. Yay. And they're out of San Diego, California. This is an American IPA, and this is what they are calling their flagship beer. It's 6.8% ABV. Put and the flag on that one. Mm -hmm. And it's a 60, 65 IBUs on this one. So this one, when you poured it, it was like sort of a golden straw, orangey, yellow IPA. And some light passes through it. You got a bit of hop haste to it. And the, it had about a, what, like a, about a finger and a half head on it, as I recall. Sure. Yeah, whatever I say, right? <laughs> Anyways, the scent on this, you got pine, grain, malty, sort of bready smell to it. And to me, it wasn't much special special in the scent. No, I mean, it, it was kind of neutral overall, a little bit bitterness, mm -hmm. nothing really special to it. I, I, I was expecting something big with the big eye. I didn't get it out of this one. No, I mean, they, they're calling it their flagship beer. Maybe it was back in the day more of a classic IPA that, that people were into, but I guess because we've had a lot bigger IPA since then. Um, especially tonight. Yeah, especially tonight. It's it's just not up to muster with some of those other ones. I mean, it's a it's a decent beer and it's sort of medium body, but overall I don't I don't know if I'd buy that one again, would you? Not particularly. No. So I might I, try it if I went to the brewery, but yeah, on tap it might be a different thing, or if they had a cask night or something like that, and you know they're but dumping some dry hops or whatever into it. But I'd say all in all, we gave it kind of like a B minus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyways, it was, it's more malt forward than some of the other ones we've had, but eh, B not B minus just the same. Okay, next up we got Firestone Walker Union Jack IPA, and they're out of uh, Paso Robles, California. This one's an American Pale Ale again. It's 6.1% um, and 70 IBUs. From the beginning, we've kind of been stepping up the IBUs from the bottom up to like the higher hoppiness, so we didn't wreck our palate from the beginning. And this one, when it poured, this was like Headzilla. We had about, what, like a... Like a three like a, and a half. Yeah, three. like a three-finger head when it was well carbonated. Now, this is a really fresh bottle. This was bottled in like um, in February, so and it's April now, so that's really fresh for, for an IPAA, especially something from California all the way out to the east coast in Maryland. Um, the scent on this, there was some pine needle hits, yeah. but Virginia? No, we're in Maryland. Too. I bought it in Virginia. Oh, you bought it in Virginia. Oh, okay, even further. But we're drinking in Maryland, so that's what matters, right, guys? Anyways, um, the only thing I could really smell you on this... You can't get this date right tonight. I can't get it. <laughs> Anyways, the only thing I could smell on the nose of this was caramel. How about you? Uh, yeah, first it... I think we, it came out a lot colder out of the fridge than we freezer or fridge yes. than we thought. We let it warm up a little bit, and you know, it, it, our, our wives are Mexican, so they like these caramel pops, mm -hmm. and they are they smell very caramelly, and that's that's what I was thinking after it warmed up a little bit, like I was eating a caramel lollipop. Yeah, the, or the, smelling the, it. At the least. smell of it, yeah. Now the taste didn't exactly follow the nose. The taste was like intense pine hops to it. I mean, the caramel was kind of on the finish, but it was a it was a real pine attack on this one in the hops that they were using. And there wasn't a whole lot of citrus and floral notes that I smelled. I've read mm -hmm. other reviews they were talking about mango and all that, but I I just didn't get that. Not out of this one. No, I, I did prefer it over the Ballast Point. Yes, but still it, it, a little bit. You know, I'm getting there up in the hoppiness scale, but this this did better than this, but still not my mm -hmm. not as good. I mean, it's a quality beer. Don't don't get us wrong. It's medium body. The carbonation's right on point. It's not that artificial feeling carbonation that you want to belch every five seconds when you're drinking your beer. But uh. <laughs> like John here. But overall, I gave it a B plus. And what'd you give it, John? Here's a B. Beer. Yes. Here's the notes. Yes. Yes. Notes. You're right. John wrote B. I like B. Mm hmm And he did write caramel lollipop down. So, anyways, moving right along. Another California brew, Anderson Valley Brewing Company. I think we did this last time with another one of their brews. That was a winter solstice. The winter solstice, which was very good. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the Hop it, Hop Otten IPA. Yep. And they're out of Boonville, California. 
This is 7% alcohol by volume, 80, 80 IBUs, so we're moving up the scale a little bit more. This is out of their Brewmasters series, for whatever that means, I guess it is. But, um, no, not Brewmaster. That's that's a uh, long trail. Sorry about that. Um, Brewmasters. Oh, I, I didn't mean, I, was, I shouldn't have written that there. Anyways, when you poured this, it was a pretty dark beer. It was a copper, dark amber sort of beer, and it about, had about a two and a half finger head on it. It was a pretty aggressive head. Um... The aroma was moderate amounts of pine, some citrus, a little bit of grapefruit, but the dominant scent was malt to me. This was this reminded me a lot of the uh, winter solstice that we had, but in the smell anyway. The taste, that's another story, right? Yeah, for me, I did prefer it over the last two. Um, you know, the bitterness, the, the, the hops didn't hit you right away. Uh, you know, and it didn't linger long with you, but it did have its hoppiness. But you know, definitely, I preferred them over the Union Jack and the Ballast Point. The the main flavor characteristic of this beer really is hop, and uh, it's not hop. It's it's maltiness and caramel flavors and toffee and breadiness more than hop. So, I mean, they're calling it an, an, an APA, but really an American IPA. But really, to me. It's got more caramel than most of them, even more than the six-point resin that we had a couple reviews back. Yeah. There's a, just a whole lot of caramel in this, which isn't a bad thing, don't get me wrong. But for a Cal California brew, that surprised me, because usually it's just a straight hop smackdown when you get to these California brews. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, okay, next one up next is page. the um, next page, yes. Sneaky Pete. The little Boston Terrier, it looks like. Yeah, the Sneaky Imperial Pete. Imperial IPA. Yeah, and they're by Laughing Laughing Dog, and they're by out of Pondere, Idaho. And hey, this hey. one's a big beer. It's a 10%, and it's American Double or Imperial IPA. And we got 89 IBUs out of this one. Um, to me, when, I, when, I, when we poured this, it's a really dark, like, penny copper color. You know, you can tell they got a lot of malt, that's got malt going on here. And I think that's to boost up the alcohol. They bumped all that extra malt into the beer. There was no head on this to me, not even a finger size head. It was light tan, just a skim on the surface. When you swill the glass, you got tons of alcohol legs, but no head to speak of. Um, the smell is fairly tame. To me, it was like caramel and booze. You know, that's about it. Well, how about you, John? I, I was not, not impressed too much. Uh... Kind of bitter, no real good flavors it's coming out to me. Just a lot of bitterness. Uh, definitely preferred, you know, these two. You know, definitely wouldn't prefer going and buying that again. That's the one I, out of all the beers we've had tonight, I've liked the least. It's just way too boozy. It's, it's like boozy sweet. Like uh, you're drinking like some kind of, uh, I don't know, malt liquor or some kind of white lightning or whatever out on the street. Cold 45. Cold 45, I don't know, man. I mean, just the phenol alcohol nature of this beer just way over the top, and I don't like this one too much. Maybe you guys do. Let me know. Comment, rate, subscribe, let me know. But anyways, now it's time for the big reveal. Our power beer of the night. Last but not least. Dun, dun, dun. Hop Stupid, which we are! Hop Stupid <laughs> from La Bonita's Brewing out of... Petaluma, California. John's capping oh, this one for us. Oh, smoke coming the, out of that. Single shot with the mermaid mm -hmm, capper. Nice. Mm. Take a whiff of that, baby. Let's see. Man, there's a lot of mango and peach and citrus coming out of that bad boy. Let's get this one in the glass. We'll pour yours, John. Now, Lagunitas... <laughs> we're Lagunitas fans. John and I, we've had a bunch of Lagunitas beers. On tap and in the bottle. Mm -hmm. It's a nice Mexican sounding word or Spanish sounding word. And Ooh, that's clear since that's... we've since we've go, oh, both got Mexican brides. Look at that one. Oh, it's about the cap. Oh, what the heck did you do? You poured it all over my leg, man. That's okay. We christened your leg. <laughs> John's gonna finish out that bottle. As you can see here on camera, John's chugging the bottle, and on the glass we've got a nice amber orange Ooh. tint. It's not cloudy at all. Even though it's a hoppy beer, this is 102 IBUs on 9.4% ABV. Yes, that one. Um, actually, 8% ABV, 102 IBUs. And if you see on the... Very mango. Mm -hmm. Peppery mango. And if you see on the front of here, it says um, 100 and I, 102 IBU for you. 
Hop stupid, and I'm about hop stupid now, that's why I can't read anymore. Stupid. <laughs> so we got a light copper color with a, about a finger and a half head. Um, let's see what we got on the scent. <laughs> well, we got mango and peach and citrus going on. This is one of the best smelling beers I think we had today. Mm -hmm. John's already tasting it. He's moved forward in the process. Man, feels like I just mowed the lawn and picked some mangoes off a tree. <laughs> Let's see. Very nice. Uh, you know, there's a good balance in here. You don't expect that. You expect that more out of the East Coast, not out of the West Coast. I'm starting to talk like you. <clears throat> but, man, it's kind of look like I'm in the beard. But, you know. You need a hat and a bald head. <laughs> But no, really good. I, um, I, I'm putting this up against my number three, uh, Evolution, as a top beer of the night. I mean, to me, this is like um, almost hop and fruit juice mixed. It's real apple. citrusy, yeah, apple and mangoey, all like combined together with with the hops. Now what I've seen out there in in, brew, in YouTube world and on different beer reviews, they are complain they compare this to Pliny the Elder, but like the poor man's Pliny the Elder because we got this bottle here for four. what, for like yeah exactly for like what four twenty nine for a, for a twenty two ounce bomber guys. I mean you can't get better than that Pliny. You're gonna ransom somebody in your family to get a six pack of that or a little twelve ounce bottle. But man, all in all, I mean Ray Beer gives this one a hundred. And Beer Advocate gives a 93, so that's a flat A. I agree with this one. This is a straight up A. I mean, the finish, it leaves citrus taste in your mouth and not bitter or hop or sweet. It's just like citrus, like a, like California. Yeah. I, I, it's a Florida grapefruit right in my mouth, and I'm not allowed to have grapefruit. Oh, not for that. Cholesterol Cholesterol that's right. I take the other stuff, you can have grapefruit. Anyway, oh, wow. it's like it's like California love up in a bottle, guys. When you open this, you can smell that just that. A grapefruit and pine wafting out of this thing so overall I mean for an 8% alcohol beer guys you do not taste the beer on this one be careful with this one this is not a chugger or a session beer this is a big beer that's got 8% alcohol to it so it's not something you're gonna slam just by yourself well maybe it is but anyways give this one a try tell us what you think I mean we're giving it an A you don't give it an A let us know we don't care just tell us we'll reply back and you know we'll take it from there but anyways Another epic beer night down, guys. We'll see you in the next session. I'm definitely having a Cinco de Mayo party. Cinco de Mayo. We'll hit the ladies up to do some cooking that night. <sighs> do a little Mexican action. Beans are good, guys. Oh, beans and beer. And salsa. We like that. And tortillas and shit. Tortillas and shit. Yeah. <laughs> now you just made it so the kids can't watch this. Rated <laughs> PG-13. Anyways, guys, we'll see you on the next DJ, DJ's Brew Tube. As always, remember... Think globally, drink locally, support your craft brewers. Peace out.